Right. Uh, let's solve this question. This is a hyperbolic equation, so let us solve it. So what do you do? How do you know that this equation is a hyperbolic equation? The first thing to check is the x squared and y squared are they of opposite signs? So x squared is plus, y y squared is minus, and there is no place I have x and y. So this equation is a hyperbolic equation. Okay. So how do you approach this one that has x and y? You no, know, the first one we solve does not have x and y like this. So let us bring them together. I'm having 3x squared plus 12x together plus minus y squared plus 2y together is equal to, okay, go to this side. This one stays alone. So now, let's do completing the square method. But before the completing the square method, the coefficient of x squared must be 1. So let us bring out the coefficient outside. Because I cannot say let me divide everybody by 3. It will affect this one. I cannot say let me divide everybody by minus 1. It will affect this one. So let me just factorize it, bring it outside. If you bring the 3 outside, this divided by 3, I'm having x squared. This one divided by 3, I'm having 4x. Okay? Plus, I'm bringing out the equation here. The equation here is minus 1. If I bring out minus 1 outside, minus 1 divided by this one, I'm having y squared. Minus 1 divided by this one, I'm having minus 2y. Okay? Is equal to what? 1. Okay? So plus minus is minus. So let me leave this minus here. Okay? So the next thing is completing the square method. And completing the square method said, find half of the coefficient of x, square it, add it to both sides. So I'm having 3 brackets, x squared plus 4x. Half of 4 is 2. Square it, you have what? 2 squared. I have added to this side. I will still add to the other side. Minus 1 bracket, y squared minus 2y. The same thing here. Find half of the coefficient of y, square it, and add it to both sides. Half of the coefficient of y is minus 2 half of it then square it so half of this thing will give you minus 1 all squared so add it to both sides i'm added to this side plus sorry is equal to 1 all right let me start adding to the other side what i'm adding is what is not 2 squared but 3 times 2 squared because i'll still open bracket so it will be plus 3 times 2 squared here will now be minus 1 times 1 squared so I have plus minus 1 times minus 1 squared. So, so let us continue. I'm going to have that uh, 3 bracket. These two have squared. So put them in bracket. X plus 2 all squared minus uh, 1 times anything is empty. So I'm having Y minus 1. These two have squared. So put them in bracket. Put all squared is equal to. I'm having 1 plus 12 minus 1. So this squared is 1. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. This squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So what do I have now? I'm having 3 brackets x plus 2 all squared minus y minus 1 all squared is equal to 12. So divide everybody by 12 so that the right hand side will be 1. Because in the equation of a hyperbola, the right hand side is always 1. So divide by 12. So if I divide by 12, I'm going to have 3 brackets x plus 2 all squared over 12 minus y minus 1 all squared over 12 is equal to 12 over 12. So the equation finally becomes x plus 2 all squared over 4 minus y minus 1 all squared over 12 is equal to 1. So this is the equation of the hyperbola. So the next thing we need to find are those small, small things. Okay. So, first of all, before you start finding anything, get your H, comma, and K. So for H, minus H is equal to plus 2. So therefore, H is minus 2. Minus K is equal to minus 1. So K is equal to 1. My A squared is equal to 4. So A is equal to square root of 4, which is 2. My b squared is equal to 12. So b is equal to the square root of 12. Okay? My c squared is equal to what? a squared. Because here is minus, it will be plus b squared. So my c squared is equal to what? 4 plus 12. So my c squared is equal to 16. Why c will now be square root of what? 16, which is what? 4. So since you have gotten all these things, you are done. So the first thing they will ask you, major axis. I have gotten it to be what? 2a, which is what? 2 bracket. What is my a? My a is 2. 2 times 2 is what? 4. Semi. 
major. Semi major axis is what? A itself, which is what? Two. So the next thing they will ask is what? The minor axis. The minor axis. Minor axis is what? 2B. So semi. Semi minor axis is what? The B itself. So which is what? 2 times what? Root 12. Which is what? 2 root 12. So why this one is just the root 12? So the next thing they can ask you is the center. The center. And the center is H, K. Which is what? H and K is uh, minus 2, 1. The next thing they will ask you is the vertex. Vertices. Va. You are adding A to which side? To the side of X. So I'm adding A here. H plus or minus A, K. Which is what? H is minus 2. Plus or minus my A. My A is 2. 2, comma, 1. So separate the plus and minus. Write plus, then write minus. So V is now the foci. Foci C is what I'm now adding to the side of X, which is what? H plus or minus C, comma, K, which is what? Minus 2 plus or minus. What is my C? My C is 4, comma, K is 1. So separate it. So the next one they will ask is. Um, Length of lattice rectum, length of lattice rectum, which is what? 2b squared over what? A, which is what? 2 bracket, what is my b squared? My b squared is 12, all over my A. My A is, um, my A is equal to 2. So what do I have? 12, standing. So the next one is um, equation of the directrix. Equation of directrix. Equation of direct is always gotten from the foci, from the vertex. So H plus or minus A. So it will be what? X, because H is the side of X. X is equal to what? Mm, H plus or minus A over E. You must add the over E because you are getting S and, uh, sorry, vertex. But you are not getting eccentricity. So our eccentricity E is equal to C over A, which is what is my C? 4 divided by my A, 2, which is what? 2, okay? So let us now put it here. X is equal to H is what? My H is minus 2 plus or minus A is what? A is 2 over E is what? 2. So do it now, which implies or minus 2 plus or minus 1. Okay? So that is that. So that is that. Okay. So what do we have? So that is that. So, sorry, when we are getting eccentricity, uh, okay, I will, I will tell you that at the end. I will tell you that at the end. So the next thing they can ask us is, um, what else? Asymptotes. You know, I didn't tell you the formula for asymptotes. So asymp asymptotes is very simple. Just do cross multiply. Remember that the equation, normal equation, x minus h, all squared, all over what? a squared minus y minus k, all squared, all over what? b squared is equal to what? 1. Just do cross multiply here. That is your asymptote. So this b will go to a, uh, will go to uh, this. So I'm having what? b squared bracket x minus h, all squared, is equal to, please put equal to, this one go here. Uh, a, sorry, put plus or minus here, plus or minus a square bracket uh, y minus k all square. So the whole square cancel out. So my asymptote is b bracket x minus h is equal to plus or minus a bracket y minus k. So let us put it now. So what is my b? So put it now to get what is whatever you are looking for. So the next thing and the last thing they will ask you is um, is um, uh, the conjugate. Conjugate, conjugate, conjugate of the equation. So the conjugate is simply to swap it, to swap everything you have. So the normal equation was um, x plus two all squared over four minus y minus one all squared over twelve is equal to one. So the conjugate now, conjugate. The conjugate is simply to swap everybody. Carry this person come here. Carry this person come here. Which is what? Y minus 1 all squared over 12 minus X minus 2 all 
over for all squared is equal to 1. So that is all they will ask you. And before we end, I want you to note very important something. Note very important something. Okay, look at when we found eccentricity. Remember, eccentricity is equal to what? C over what? A. And what is our C? Uh, eccentricity C over A. We got it as what? 4 over 2, which is what? 2. And 2 is greater than 1. Please note. Very important note. If the eccentricity is less than 1, then the equation is uh, a parabola. Is it parabola or ellipse? I think it's an ellipse. Yes. Let me check, please. Okay, but know that this is greater than 1. So, number 1, if, if the eccentricity is greater than 1, then it is a hyperbola. I, I. If the eccentricity is less than 1, it's an ellipse. If, if the eccentricity is equal to 1, I think it's hyperbola. I think it's a hyperbola. Eccentricity greater than 1. Yes, yes, I think it's parabola. Okay, or a circle. Either parabola or a circle. Let me find out when the eccentricity is equal to 1. Yes, it's a parabola. So that is it. So if the eccentricity is equal to 1, it's a parabola. If the eccentricity is less than 1, it's an ellipse. But if it is greater than 1, it's a hyperbola. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you.